Taas ang kamay ang sino marunong mag, ano, mag first aid. Ha? Sino may alam ng uh, CPR? Alam mo, ang CPR ay isa sa mga basic na first aid response. At alam nyo ba na sa isang emergency situation na kinakailangan ng CPR ng isang biktima, aba, eh, if magawa nyo po ng tama ang CPR, ay nadoble, na triple mo yung chance na mabuhay, makasurvive. Yung, let's say, for example, yung biglang nag-sudden cardiac arrest. Ayan ang isa sa mga dahilan. Bakit mahalaga na may kaalaman tayo sa isa sa pinakamahalagang life support? Advance tayo dahil sa Sunday, National CPR Day. Kaya alamin po natin dito sa ASPN. Approve sa pangkalusugan natin. Roll VTR. Taon-taon tuwing sasapit ang araw ng July 17 ay ang pagkilala sa National CPR Day. Ang CPR o Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation ay isang basic life support na ayon sa mga health organizations here and abroad ay mahalaga na malaman at matutunan natin. Ang CPR ay nakatutulong na i-maintain ang vital blood flow sa puso at sa utak sa first 4 minutes ng cardiac arrest. Ang CPR ay maaaring matutunan ng isang bata as early as 9 to 10 years old. Samantalang wala namang pinipiling edad ang maaaring mag-benefit sa CPR lalo na sa oras na ito ay kakailanganin. Pinopromote din ng Department of Health o ng DOH ang hands-only CPR. Nagsasagawa rin sila ng mga trainings para lalo ipalaganap ang kahalagahan ng life-saving measure na ito. Dagdag pa ng DOH, nais nila isulong na at least isang miyembro sa bawat pamilyang Pilipino ay may sapat na kaalaman at kakayahang mag-perform ng hands-only CPR at 120 beats per minute na nakapagpapa-increase nga ng survival rate ng up to 50% bago pa man dumating ang tulong mula sa mga profesional. Kaya naman, kung kayo ay may pagkakataon, aralin nyo na ang CPR. Hindi lang para sa kapwa, kundi higit sa lahat para sa inyong pamilya. Ayan. Ayan. National CPR Day mm-hmm. kasi, oh. Sa Sunday, National CPR Day na po sa linggo. Makakasama po natin today, Victor Diaz Sanchez, isang registered nurse at naging instructor din sa Philippine Red Cross, American Heart Association at ngayon naman ay instructor for SCAN International Emergency First Responders. Yan, may baby po ako today. At si Cheryl Sanchez, neonatal and ICU nurse, certified neonatal resuscitation program sa American Heart Association. Ayan. Welcome po sa ating Program. Welcome, Victor and Cheryl, to ASPN. Thank you very much for having us. Thank, Thank you for taking okay. time out to join us today para i-demonstrate sa atin itong mm-hmm. napakahalagang cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Okay, okay, pero ano ba muna po yung uh, basics ng CPR? Meron ba itong maling paraan na, na ginagawa ng iba pagdating po sa pag uh, si CPR? Ay, ay opo. May, may mga maling paraan kung mm-hmm. paano uh, mag-perform ng CPR. Just like when you uh, when you place your hands, no, uh, it should be placed at the center of the chest. Uh, sa, uh, you gitna. can try it, don't? No? Para madali nyo mahanap kung saan yung pinaka gitna ng dibdib. Ang lalapat po ay eh, tung heel of the hand. Ito yung oh, heel. So hindi heel. yung buong ito, ito, ito. palad. Kasi some, uh, ang akala nila sa center, oh, center oh. ng palm. It should be the heel of the hand at the center of the chest. Is it the uh, right ha- dominant hand or I, either hand. Okay. Uh, whichever hand you're more, uh, most comfortable to use, yun po yung pwede niyong gamitin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then, ipapatong po yung isa. Then you lock it with your fingers up. Mm-hmm. You go near your patient, arm straight. No, uh, para mas madali po yun yung, yung mag- magawa yung compression kasi kung mas malayo po kayo mas mahihirapan kayo mag-compress mm-hmm. naalala so, ko merong isang ano di ba yung isang palabas yung nurse ganyan 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 siya nagsisisi ay yung teleserya ay yung yeah. mag-CPR yeah. parang ito <laughs> <laughs> naman so anyway okay. para meron para ma, ma ano mo ma, yung weight mo yes, yung bigat exactly mo you have to ma-apply mo oh, so exactly. parang more or less directly above yes that, that's right ano, po Miss Ali ka. okay um, sige Kasi mas madalas, uh, pagka medyo malayo pa kayo, you start using your arms to do the compression like this. Mm-hmm. Now, that when one is wrong. Yung... Bakit siya it mali? should be straight. Uh, it, uh, dahil it will be 
uh, it, uh, you will be doing the compressions a lot more less. No? Oh. It's lesser. Eh? Unlike oh. if you uh, apply your weight, you go deeper because your compression Yon. should be two, at least two inches deep. Okay. Ah, so parang imagine natin na two inches yung binababa ng, mm -hmm. ng, ng ribs, po, ng chest. Okay. okay. So it should okay. be a full compression, a okay. full compression yeah, and right. a full recoil like that. Mm -hmm. Recoil so, meaning yung balik, balik ng dibdib ng mm -hmm. ribs. Dib okay. Nang sa ganun, yung heart na kukompress po siya ng mad, na madiin at maayos. So that ensures enough output of blood com uh, coming from the heart. Yun yung so yung kaya natin dinidiinan kasi ang, ang layunin nun is pa, kasi yung puso na tumigil, ay dapat yung dugo, mapanumbalik mo. Mm -hmm. yung, yung, yung ginagawa mo sa kamay mo, mapump mo. Yun yung nagpapump ng dugo. Exactly. Kung exactly. parang nagaganon mo yung puso niya dapat. Okay. So, so it's, it's more of like you're doing, you're, you are the one doing the manual pump. Yes. Yes. Of, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. That will okay. be sending blood all throughout the body, especially the brain, which needs Especially uh, the brain. Mm -hmm. Gano'n katagal na blood. na hindi dapat ma-deprive ng oxygen ang brain? You only have until 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Uh, yes, uh, only until 10 minutes. Now, without any CPR or else after that, that will cause irreversible brain damage. Irreversible mm -hmm. brain damage. But regardless, kasi halimbawa, hindi mo naman alam kailan nawalan ng malay or something yung uh, pasyente. Regardless, try it. Yes, uh -huh. that's exactly uh -huh. right. Teka Kasi, muna, kasi nung naaral ko tong course na to, meron ka munang mga steps na dapat gawin eh. Uh -huh. Before right. you actually do yung, ano, yung chest compressions. Uh -huh. Ano yung mga dapat nating gawin bago mo actually gawin itong dinedemo natin? Yeah. I, I, actually, I was listening to what you were saying mm -hmm. earlier. When you <laughs> So someone na uh, was lying on the streets, no, uh -huh. na hindi, walong malay, hindi gumagalaw. You did the exact right thing. Kasi the first thing that you should do is to survey the scene. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Tignan mo na yung paligid. Ligtas ba ako sa gagawin kong ito? No, bago ko lapitan yung aking biktima. Because if you start, bigla, biglang tumakbo ka at hinawa kami, what if he got electrocuted? Kung nakuryente, hindi oh, oh, nakuryente na, ka rin. And then you touch ka pa. The, then you, parehas na kayo. You uh -oh. both become victims. Uh -oh. So you survey the scene, and then if it's safe for you, that's the time you approach mm -hmm. your victim. Then after you approach them, you, uh, you, usually you kneel, kung nasa, nasa tabi po kayo nila, no? and then you check for consciousness first. Sabi mo, sir, okay. are you okay? Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, or if you want it in English, sir, sir, you okay? A strong tap over the shoulders like this. Oh. So, you check yeah. mo muna kung may malay tao. Mama po. Okay. You check for consciousness. At kung wala na siyang malay, the, the next step would be to activate emergency. Mm -mm. To activate medical assistance. You can get your phone, dial national mm -hmm. number 911, no? and you ask for an ambulance and you, you, mm -hmm. you give them the information. Ano yung meron doon sa pasyente mo? Ito ba'y walang malay? Or you can ask somebody kung may ibang exactly. tao, di ba? Call 911. If you don't have your phone, uh -oh. no? you can ask someone. Just make sure that when you ask someone, uh, alam po nila na sila yung inuutusan nyo. Mm -hmm. Because you say, Kuya, kuya, ikaw, ikaw na nasa harap ko ngayon, yung nakasot ng mask na black. Call 911 right now. May pasyente ako dito, hindi gumagalaw, at mukhang walang malay at mukhang hindi rin humihinga. Mm -hmm. Balik ka kagal sa akin, makatawag ka man o hindi. That's oh, important that you okay. tell them that. Because sometimes, pagka ganun, big, umalis sila. Kung, kung nasa liblib ka na, ano, na walang signal. Then that, uh, for, for that instance, so walang signal, wala rin pong tao doon sa paligid ninyo. You have at least a window of two minutes to run out, knock on some door, tell oh. them what happened, anong meron, anong ba't, anong kailangan mo ng emergency, kailangan na may tumawag ng ambulansya. Mm -hmm. Two minutes lang yun. Yes. Two minutes at lang. At least two minutes is the shortest that you can... Oh. So, you can, i-check din okay. natin kung humihinga. Paano kapag humihinga naman, kailangan ba mag-check? Yun, yun na po yung next. Mo, paano, oh. paano mo muna i-check kung humihinga? Oh, oh. So, next, after you, you, uh, you, you call yeah, for conscious. emergency, no? the next thing that you would do is to check for breathing, and check for pulse, check for circulation. Pulso at saka Pero, niya. Okay. there's something that you have to consider nowadays. Oh. COVID-19. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. So what if, no, you, you can't be sure kung ito bang ano, taong ito has baka COVID. COVID? Or, baka yun yung dahilan kung bakit siya nawala ng mali. So make sure you have your mask on. Mag-mask ka. Mask Ayon. on. Mask just to protect yourself. You okay. Put your mask on. Uh -oh. And best if you also have extra mask for your patient. Oh, ah, yan ang nagbago. Teka, yeah. sabi natin because so of COVID. So, bakit nagbago? Right. Kasi nung inaral ko yan, kailan ititilt mo pa yung ulo, tapos imamouth to mouth mo. Baka oh, oh. ano ang nabago? Bakit hin puro chest compression na at hindi na imamouth mm -hmm. to mouth? Actually, Miss Ali, this is not new. This uh -oh. has been taught by the 
American Heart Association even before. Uh -oh, this is pandemic. for bystanders and lay rescuers. No, because uh, there was some part, uh, there was uh, before when we teach uh, compression, tapos you have your rescue building, your mouth to mouth resuscitation. There comes this confusion. Mm. Na, ilan na nga kasi yung compression oh. ko? Ilang beses? Ilan na nga kasi yung healing eh, ako? No? So that's, mm. there's that so confusion. Now, they tra started training doing hands-only CPR. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with hands-only CPR, your concentration will be all on the compression. Mm -hmm. Para ma-focus mo yeah. sa chest compression. And the time. The time will be about around two minutes before you check again your patient. Oh, Yun. okay. So that's a Again, again, again. Two minutes ka nag-chest compression. Yes, that's right. Tapos you check, check, you check okay. ulit. So you check on checking. So para ma-check mo, you have your... You check your pulse. Where do you check your pulse? Carotid pulse is right here. Tasa tabi ng vocal cords yun. Right Can you left? feel it? Both. You can both. feel it okay. both on both sides. Can you feel it? Yeah. Yung yeah. pulso mo, di ba, dito, oh, sa yes, ilalim right. ng, ano mo, sa baba. Yeah. Sa ilalim ng baba. So, I can feel it. Actually, if you don't have access to that, ano ba, yung pasyente mo, so, na, nakita mo nasa ilalim ng mesa, nasa ilalim ng papag, o kung saan man, there are other places where you can check pulses din. Meron dito sa temple. Sa sentido, oh, sa temple. Meron dito sa inyong sa radial wrist. pulse, yes, oh. sa wrist. Sa likod ng tuhod, meron din po. At doon sa ibabaw ng paa. Yan ay kung paano kung nakasuot doon at ang nakalitaw lang ay yung legs ay yung oh, okay. So that's one way that you can also check. So okay. you check for pulse, no, your carotid pulse, yung dito sa may leeg. Walang pulse dapat. Yan. Oh yes, okay. dapat walang pulse. That's, what, that's, your, that's a time mm -hmm. that you can give CPR. No pulse and no breathing. No breathing. So if you're medyo alanganin ka na lumapit dahil wala siyang mask, yan. so you just check for breathing na medyo distant ka, kung rise and fall of the chest. No? Wow. Movement of the shoulders, no? Because the usual, the usual checking would be like this. Yes. Hmm. Look, listen, and feel. So you look at the chest for the rise and fall. You feel for the air coming in and out. So kung negative pulse, wala siyang pulso, wala rin pong paghinga. And that's, that's when your, you start. Yes, that's your cue to start the CPR. Kapag merong pulso, wag mag-CPR. Kapag ka merong pulso, oh. tapos Pero hum, hindi, hindi, hindi siya humihinga, you would give rescue Rest breathing. Oh, okay, oh. okay. If you if if you are uh, for for us for our uh, in for instance for us like uh, we are uniform we are from the Scan International Emergency mm -hmm. First Responders. No? Uh, we are a volunteer group. Actually, we're communicators. No, uh, we uh, for our trainees we instruct them that when you wear your uniforms you always bring your kit with you. And part of their kit is this one. This is a CPR mask. No? Just okay. for in case that uh, you, nagkaroon po ng ganitong instance na uh, kailangan nilang mag-CPR mag no? at hindi naman nila kamag-anak, hindi nila kilala. Then, Pinapatong then, sa yes, bibig. Yes, this is a barrier. There are different forms. May iba't ibang pa, ano po na pwede nilang gamitin ito. Mm -mm. No? Para ipatong po dito, then that's the time that they can do CPR. Oh, Now, okay. how to do rescue breathing? Pero kung kami, katulad ng mga ordinaryong tao na wala naman kaming baon oh. na ganyan, Pwede ba kami, is there an alternative o oh, wag na lang kami mag-mouth yes, to mouth? Yes, wala, wala na lang wala po. Na lang so your, your best action, kasi do, you, you, ano yun, uh, because of what we did earlier, baka, baka kasabihin niyo po kasi, baka pinabayaan ko na, alam ko na hindi siya humihinga, mm -hmm. wala akong nagawa. Actually, no. Because remember from the first start, you are the one who activated medical assistance. So there's, yes. always, there's already something that you already did. No, to help that person. And all you have to do is to assist them, monitor, and wait for the advanced medical services mm -hmm. to arrive. Okay. Actual okay, chest compressions demonstration. Okay. Sabi nga nila, itong heel ng ating kamay, ilagay sa gitna ng dibdib. Mm -hmm. Tapos, i-interlock natin yung mga daliri of the other hand. And then, compress. Okay, compress. Okay, Make sure your fingers are... Up, no? Yan, yan. Nakataas yung fingers. That's one way din kasi uh, for, for other people if they watch you, especially kung nalaki. Kasi try to imagine if babae yung pasyent, yung ano. Oh, ah, mahawa kasi so may propriety pa rin, yes, ano? Yes, of course. Okay. Uh -oh. So you, you, you stretch your arms, no? Make sure that's stiff. This is stiff. Derecho no? ang mga move, so... move forward and do your compressions. So, and so, your, your, your tempo, sabi nga ninyo kanina, is like, <laughs> if you're in the 70s, you can go with staying alive. Yes, uh, sa 80s. Your, go, 80s. 80s, uh, 80s, <laughs> pasok pa rin yata. <laughs> ano yun ba, ibang, ano, uh, ibang kanta? Kung 90s, you have Macarena. Bago. 
Macarena. 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 Yes, that's uh, that's all. Na, 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 na. So, let's ano go. Pa? Let's try. Ano pa? So, sa mga maka mas makabagong bata. Pinakabago you have from na, Justin Timberlake. Ay, ano yan? Tarantana. Uh, Pwede ba yun? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the song. But it's this one. Actually, you can, uh, you can uh, if, if you have Spotify, you can go uh, search so, for CPR Playlist. Mm -hmm. CPR oh, may CPR Playlist. Yes. There's a CPR Playlist. <laughs> At uh, maraming songs doon na baka pwede nyo pagbili. Okay. Baka naman pag meron kayong kailangan i-CPR, pumunta. Teka muna yung song. Okay, so safest. Ang safest. Ba't ilang beats yun per ano? It's 100 to 120 beats per minute. So if you're doing hands-only CPR, you'll be doing approximately 200 compression. Okay, sige. So let's start. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. Remember to make your arms straight. Arms straight. Full compression. Yes. It should be full compression like this, no? And the full recoil then to make sure that blood is circulating all throughout the body. Yes, that will be tiring. Actually, that's one reason. Ah, one. Ah, no. One. Okay. That's one reason for you to stop. No. When you're tired. When you're too tired, when you're exhausted to do it, that's because you're compromising yourself then po kasi oh, so para rin work out so magbibilang ka ng mga mga 200 approximate yes, approximately kasi 200 kung wala kang relo or if or you hindi mo na mababantayan uh, bilangan mo na ng 200 if you lost count if you lost count don't worry tantsahin nyo at least 2 minutes okay mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, and then you stop um one thing that's very yeah one thing that's really very important with this is you have to concentrate on the compression. Oh, okay. It's, the compression is really very important mm -hmm. to send uh, oxygen-rich blood to the brain. Okay. Of course, we're doing this on the table sa para lang oh, makita oh, nyo ng mabuti, tama. but it, makikita natin sa realidad, na sa, yes. let's say, nasa, nasa sa floor, India, nasa sa oh, floor, oh, yan, oh. mas madali pong mag-apply oh, oh. ng pressure. Okay. okay. Oh. Ito naman, gusto ko malaman din sa mga bata. Alright. No, wait. After two minutes muna. Ay, okay. after, two minutes. after two minutes, you check again. You check okay. for pulse. And then you check for breathing. Oh, if he has a pulse and he has a heart, you turn him sideways, the side-lying position. Okay, so you're going to have a recovery position. Yes, side-lying position. Yes, side-lying position. This is the recovery position. That's right. No, this is for all other fluids to to drain. No, because if he starts breathing without the consciousness, he can aspirate that when he goes to the bag. Okay, okay. Lalo, mga lawi niya ganon. Okay, sa bata naman. And then you monitor. Yes. Okay, so baby, this is an infant, infant baby. So if pag pilego usapan ng infant, we are considering zero day from the day of birth and until one year old. Okay. So as you can see po, may head lock siya until three to four months. So handling infant victim na paka Nakapa fragile, oh my, very fragile. And then this victim, yung mga pasyenting ganito, napakasel dam po na wala silang kasama. So proper handling, proper handling sa kanila, na makikita ng isang magulang na paghawak mo palang duon sa bata, nagagawan mo ng tulong CPR, e alam mo ng hawakan. Kasi kung ako na isang magulang, nanay, then I have my infant child, tapos yung paghawak mo palang doon sa bata, hindi mo na alam, eh expect ko, yung gagawin mong CPR sa kanya, hindi ka rin sigurado. Correct. So, ano yung tamang para? Yes. Dahil may headlock pa yan, itong mga baby na to, infant, you need to support the head. Ah, hindi mo iba ba? Karga mo talaga, magsisipi. Sa time ng CPR, you need to to put the 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 infant sa flat surface. Okay. Never do the CPR doon sa lap mo. Pero there's one thing that you have to consider, kasi Miss Ali. For unlike adults, to the the one reason why some some of the adults experience cardiac arrest is because Pwede sila na may disease, mm -hmm. yes. okay. or maybe they drown, uh -huh. or something like so, that. So, yung mga nalunod, For babies, yung mga tama, inatake, tama, oh, yes. oh, tama. So, for babies, not common na mm -hmm. atakihin yung oh, baby. Correct. So, one most common reason why the baby needs CPR is because they na choke. Exactly. Okay. Choking. So it's all, it always so uh, may, sa throat. probably it starts oh, oh. with choking. Oh. Yeah. So kung paano mo you have to so sabihin niya that this baby is wiggling and all that because of the of what the choking. So you have to do the choking first. Okay. Uh, so check muna natin yung mouth yung airways niya. That's exactly. Okay. If you have to do the choking for babies naman, you have to do it sitting because mm -hmm. it's un very unsafe mm -hmm. if you're yes, standing. Yes, yes. Eh. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Tapos, so you do the choking, you give strong back, back slaps, mm-hmm. and at the same time, chest compressions. Okay, then. so Now, turo you... lang po natin yung chest oh, compressions. We have, chest compressions. Actually, we have 30 seconds to wrap sige. it up. Okay. Okay. So, so quickly, ang tamang ano? chest compression sa mga babies, up to one year old. We are using the two fin- finger technique for one rescuer. Pag dalawa kayong gagawa, we are using the two thumb encircling technique. Mm-hmm. Like this. Two thumb two encircling for technique. For one rescuer, you just put your two fingers at the center of the chest, just like how they did in the adult, and then you start compression. Same rate. Oh, oh. It's the same rate. Same rate. Pero same rate. are you more careful? Because the ribs niya baka mas mas ano ba? It's it's uh, one and a half inches. Okay. Oh, okay. This uh, you have to remember. You have to concentrate on the compression. On the Don't compression. worry about the ribs. Okay. If, even in adults, you may hear cracking. Don't oh, worry oh. about that. Ah, kait marinig mo yes. may nagkakrak na ribs. Tuloy mo pa yes. rin. Oh, Because wow. that will heal. Remember, oh. the main problem is the heart not pumping. To restart And the heart. Kapag brain, exactly. mahirap na mag-heal yun. Tama okay. Po. So, that's important here. You do the compressions, 30 compressions, but oxygenation is very important with the babies. So, kailangan, kailangan mouth hingahan. to mouth. Yes, may okay. mouth to mouth to. So, so to you me. breathe in to mm-hmm. the mouth and nose. You lock it to your mouth, your, your, uh, mm-hmm. with and your mouth. lips. Nose and mouth. And you breathe two times. Oh, two times. Oh, okay. Yung puff lang galing dito sa... So, I inhale ako ng... <gasps> no, not that strong. Ah, kasi that's blow it na lang. So, 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 it's more like a puff. Like, that's just like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Meron ba kayong available na video on ano? Na pwedeng panoorin. Na pwede nating, pwede nila panoorin. Yes. Uh, on... Ha- Online on, on digital the platform. So, well, audience. Oh, we have... Uh, from our, our, our group, Scan International, you can find us on Facebook. We are on Facebook. We have a demonstration there on how to actually do the CPRs. Okay. And if you if you want training someone, of course you can get trainings from the Red Cross and the American Heart mm-hmm. Association. But you can also consider it Scan International. Scan International, Victor and Cheryl, mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. No, okay. I can remember Thank correctly. You so much. Thank you, Miss Addy. Thank marami, you, Miss Addy. Thank 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 you, Miss and we could have saved lives mm-hmm. in the future. Mm-hmm. Kaya ang paalala po ng Team ASPN, na-wrap up na natin kahit ano pong pinagdadaanan natin, daanan lang natin, huwag niyo pong tambayan. Always remember, don't ever forget, kung tayo ay sama-sama, kayang-kaya. At kung tulong-tulong tayo, aahon, kita-kita po tayo sa lunes. Have a blessed weekend. Be safe. Mag-ingat po kayo. Okay. God bless. Victor, Cheryl, thank you very thank much. Thank you, thank you. Uh-huh. Scan International, ito, ito, maraming ito, ito, salamat. Ito, 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 Happy weekend! This is the normal decision. This is the new decision.